Hi, I'm Donna Judd, and welcome to Donna and Friends. I have got a very special guest here today, Ish Ingalls. Ish, you have helped us with sports, but today I've brought you here for a magical reason. <laughs> an illusionary one, at least. Yes, an illusion. <laughs> are you here? I like, yeah, you are. <laughs> I was just checking. Not mentally, but... <laughs> now, you are a teacher in the public school system. Right, teach computer Tell us science. Tell that. I teach computer science one, and hopefully next year uh, we'll also be adding digital media production, so we'll make oh. movies. It'll be fun. And, fun. and I'm also, I, I'm the assistant soccer coach, the assistant academic team coach, I do the stats for the football team, I do the... Uh, stadium voice for the JV football team and the middle school football team and first semester I was the uh, student sponsor for the knitting club plus I'm the student sponsor for the uh, for the BPA business professional and you America. also are known to Red Dirt Media Group as the Ishtistics <laughs> yeah. Ish which is a lot of fun yes well for you yes <laughs> <laughs> stats I don't know if stats would be my thing but for you that's the day Ishtistics and that's done um, through what sponsor did we have for that? That was through uh, Central Tech. Central Tech, that's what I started yeah, to say. Yeah, this is in Drum That's right, Central Tech, your learning folks. Well, I invited you today because seriously, you do have a little magic up your sleeve, but how did this start? You know, I'd always kind of been fascinated with magic. I think we all go through a phase when we're in elementary school where we want to do it, but we read those books and they're like, the tricks are just, you know, and there's no way. I actually bought, uh, it was on sale at Walmart, got down to, from $85 down to $15, so I bought the Chris Angel kit. And oh. the thing in there that really got me in was sponge balls because um, it was the one thing where I was able to actually do something and actually make it look like you know, I'd done magic when I didn't put it in my hand. I kept it over here or threw it on the table, right. one or the other. But it was, it was the first thing that I saw, wow. And I was actually, actually able to get results and get people to ooh and ah. And, that got me into it and saying, oh, I can maybe do more. So, do you just have a sponge ball with you all the time? No, actually, but I always carry a deck of cards with me. Okay. I can't leave the house without a deck of cards. Okay, so you're kind of addicted to magic. Now. Very. And actually, uh, most magic. magicians, like but, well, yeah. cards wear out, actually, the longer you handle them. Yes. And so most magicians, it becomes a, an addiction. You go out and buy cards all the time. You can ask my daughter, uh, if I go out of the house without a deck of cards, I will usually buy a deck while I'm out. Wow. Just because I have to have them with me. Wow. Keep so my hands free. So if anybody wants to get Ish something, a deck of cards is all this guy needs. Bicycle. Bicycle. Or Hoyle. Okay. So. Now, why bicycle or Hoyle? Uh, they got just the best feel. Oh, um, okay. The air cushion feels really good. They're quality cards. B is pretty good also. Um, I like the backs on the bicycles and the hoils. So, so you're just a card connoisseur. Actually, yes. They are. There's, there's sweets and cool. dries. And <laughs> well, I, I want to see a magic trick. All I, right. I want you to wow me. And I actually brought a couple today. All right. Uh, this first one is one of the first ones I ever learned. And it's, uh, it's an older game that's been traditionally played. Uh, with three sponge balls, and it's called two in the hand, one in the pocket. Okay. Okay, and you got to pay attention because right. I, I take the first one, I put it in my hand. All right. I take the second one, put it in my hand. Okay. I take the third one, and I put it in the pocket down here. So, what's in the hand? Two. No, I put three there. You got to pay attention to this. Okay. All right, well, yeah, I think the problem is here. Two, okay. Got to watch. Two in your hand. Two in the hand. Two in the hand. Right. All right. So, what's the last one goes in the pocket? What's in the hand? Two. No, there's three in the hand. All right, one more time. Let's try that one more time. Ready? You got two in the hand. All right. Those here, last one goes in the pocket. Now, what's in the hand? I don't want to answer the same answer, but I will too. No, none. The trick's over at this point. So. <laughs> It's one of my favorite tricks, one of the first ones I ever wow. learned. Thank wow. you. Wow. And it's just, it's a fun trick. Um, <laughs> it can go with you anywhere. And, yeah. Um, the next one I wanted to show you though, and this is, yeah. this is my absolute favorite okay. of all tricks. It's a card trick. And let's bring attention to this deck. This is, I love this, that, that you have bought a deck to support breast cancer awareness. So I just wanted to point that out. Makes my mom happy. She's a lactation consultant in the state of Florida. So uh, she spends a lot of time promoting breast cancer awareness and figured I'd do that too. All right, this is really, it's just a bicycle deck, okay. uh, just a regular bicycle deck. I got that at uh, with CVS in uh, Stillwater. Okay. And this is my four card trick, and it's called the four card trick because you use one, two, three, and the four. Okay. Well, pretty straightforward, right? And I can take the four, and I put it right in there. And the neat thing is, when you give it a shake, you'll see that the four comes right to the top. Again, we can take that four, put it in here, give it a shake, 
and once more, right to the top. All right, one more time. Hey. We're gonna put it on this top. Yeah, I can put it here, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. <laughs> Give it a shake and a pop, because it's on the bottom of you, that little extra lift, and right. right to the top. All right, now, you can put it you know, here, you can put it on the bottom. I'm gonna put it in this spot, and you probably figure out, why do you think this trick works? Because, well, every card is, is, you know, the four of spades, right? Every card is the four of spades. But I promised you magic. Yeah. Snap your fingers. When you snap your fingers, now every card is the queen of hearts. And see, that's the real trick there, is getting every card to change like that. Wow. But really magic is when you have the queen of hearts, the four of spades, and two other totally different cards. Very good. That's my absolute favorite trick. So if you're watching this and you caught it and I didn't, that's going to make me feel bad, but it really impressed me. Make me feel bad too. I <laughs> but I told you I was going to show you a trick or teach yes. you a trick. Oh, yes. Um, you did mention that. So I gave you a deck of cards. Go ahead yes. and you can open that. Let me shuffle these because these actually have never been shuffled. Okay. Um, we, um, on the bottom, I believe I put the queen of hearts for, for you. Yes. The bottom card. All right. That will be key later. Now you don't you don't let the person you're doing this trick for know the, that that's already set up for you. Okay. All right. So this is preset in the trick. So preset. I don't tell anybody this is the Queen of Hearts. And it can be any card you want. You know, I'm okay. gonna, we're going to use the Queen of Hearts here because I've always had a thing for the Queen of Hearts. I guess my wife is the Queen of Hearts. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> All right. So what you do is you have them pick a card, any card. Mm -hmm. And so, card. here, well, you, go, you, you do the trick once and then I'll uh, walk you through doing it to me, okay? Okay. So go ahead and sit your deck down real quick. Okay. And pick a card, any card. And really, it's a free choice. They don't, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right? What you do is while they're looking at the card, mm -hmm. you're going to pivot this off, all okay. right? And then go ahead and set your, their card right here. Okay. Now, the part that's got the queen of hearts on the bottom mm -hmm. is going to go right on top there. Okay. Now we're going to cut the cards. The neat thing is that when we cut it, we're just keeping it in a circle. The Queen of Hearts will always be on top of their card. And we can cut it however many times we want. Um, yeah, that would be good right there. All right, now we're going to tell them that we need, uh, we're going to find that we can't find their card, but we have two helper cards that will. And we're going to use the Queen of Hearts and some other random queen. And what we do is we go along until we find, there's the Queen of Hearts. All right, having your card with the Eight of Clubs then. Yes. All right, uh, but I don't know that yet. And I'm going to go ahead and say, say, well, let me just move that queen up there and let me find the other, find another queen. And it'll be their queen of diamonds. And we put her on this side. Now we slide this out just a little bit so you can see both queens. The real reason we're doing that is we want to get a, a finger on the back side on both these two cards. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to then throw the pack from this hand to this hand. <laughs> <laughs> if, it, even if it goes on the floor, it's not a big deal. All right. The next thing is, what's going to happen is your thumb is going to hold these two cards and these fingers are going to hold the Queen of Diamonds. And so what happens is, when you do that, you wind up catching their card between your two helper cards. And this was the easy trick. This is, a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a neat little effect, too, because, you know, it's that like, is a neat effect. So, let me walk you through it. Go ahead. Do so, right. take your deck of cards. You still have the queen on the bottom, right? I do. Okay. Now, you're going to let me pick a card. All right. Any card. card. Any card. I like that part. I and, can do that. And one of the things that I like card, to do people card. is when you say pick a card, any card, as soon as they reach for one, you go, oh, not that card. And it's amazing. Watch people go, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like, like you know what that card is. Okay. <laughs> but we'll go with, we'll go oh, ahead and no. go. Yeah, see? <laughs> I didn't even bought it. All right. And there's my card. Okay. All right. All right, at this point, you're going to go ahead and put the deck back together. All right. You're going to uh, split it in half. All right. And you're going to present the top half to me. Yep. Well, no, uh, nothing. You're going to pre present it this way to me. Okay. And have me put my card on top. All right. Now you're going to put your the bottom half on there. Right. So now it's buried in the deck. Yes. But we know that the Queen of Hearts is right on top. Yes. So now you can go ahead and, and say, all right, I can't find your card. But I have my helper cards, and you start looking until you find. Actually, you can cut it several times if you want first. Okay, so I can cut it. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> try to do a cut. Okay. Oh no. Now, ish, that's gonna get me. <laughs> Don't try to trick me. <laughs> that's uh, one. That's one thing you do for practice. Okay. All right, and once you've done that, then you say, all right, I can't find your card, but I have two helper cards. Let me see if they can find it. And you go look for your helper cards. Okay. And as soon as you go ahead and look for your helper all cards. Right. And as soon as you find your queen of hearts, 
which you know she could be anywhere, probably toward uh, towards yeah, the middle now. Talk. You know, I really mixed them up here. I'm just saying. Um, there she is. <laughs> I see. All right, her. so now you go ahead and break the d uh, deck above her, okay. and uh, set her on top. Say, all right, I need to put her in place. Now let me find my other helper card. Okay. And I'll her. find any other queen. Any other queen will do. All right. Or you can even grab a king if you want. Okay, and then put it on the bottom. All right. And then. You're gonna slide that out just a little. You're gonna move the deck around and slide it out just a little bit so I can see both the queens. And you're gonna put your thumb, it's gonna look like this from your side, okay. like, like this from their side, only it's gonna be queen and queen. Okay? And you hold it in your hand. <laughs> we can get there, we're almost okay. there. <laughs> don't, don't show the seven. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna slide the queen out just a little bit and then hold it like that. All right. Okay? And now, once you've got it there, then, and it's, it's going to be actually a lot more simple than you realize, mm -hmm. you're just going to take your hand, and you're going to go and get ready to catch it, and you're just going to go like that, and even if they go everywhere, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> and then you've caught. Okay. So, okay. Oh, wow. I got I pinched from the sides. Okay. Well, well. Uh, well and, no. and, <laughs> close. Ish, when you there you go. <laughs> Teach me a simple trick. I have your concept, but um, dyslexia keeps me. Gotcha. Going. Wow, Ish, we're almost out of time already. Ish, will you come back? I'd love to. Will you teach some more? I'd love to. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe to someone else. I'll, I'll bring someone on the show, uh, and you can teach them. Ish, fun. Thank it's you. Too much fun. Thank you. We'll be back right after this, so don't touch your mouse or your deck. <laughs> <laughs>